Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, or as we call it, hump day, halfway through the week. Um, and day 43 results are in. So here it is, 329.4. I think that's what we had a couple days ago. Uh, so, no, it's 329.2. So I'm still a bit higher, but honestly, I feel fantastic. Fantastic. I ate well. So yesterday, uh, skip breakfast. I was at work yesterday. I skipped breakfast. Uh, lunch, uh, because I didn't like my, my, the shake that I had, my replacement shake, I ended up going back to one that I used to have uh, before I found the new ones that I loved there. So uh, the ones I had before are called Slim Fast, uh, 260 calories, uh, less protein, but has minerals and has all kinds of other stuff in there. Fiber. And um, I wasn't a big fan of going back to those simply because of the calories. I like having only 150 calories because it allows me to eat more uh, for dinner. Uh, but, you know, it, it did a very good job. Honestly, I didn't have any fruits or anything like that for lunch. And it was still filling. So that held me off until dinner time. So all I had in me was, was a shake and a ton of water. Uh, dinner time, we ended up going with... Um, chicken thigh with the skin but I, I removed at least I don't know 80% of the skin I just had a couple I love the skin but I had a couple bites and that was it then I ate the chicken uh, with some salad some beets that was it yeah salad and beets very very good meal uh, very good day uh, I did end up having uh, a few bites of a few different cookies because my wife who bakes cookies, uh, she uh, she asked me to test, some, sample some new recipes. But just a few bites, no big deal. Um, so, I feel fantastic. I feel really well. I feel strong. I feel good. And again, it, that's, that's, that's saying a lot considering that I am sitting at 329 pounds and I feel fantastic. Um, last night I was thinking about going to the gym, but I was getting tired. I had a lot of work too. Uh, so this morning I took advantage. I got up a little bit earlier I was, since I was able to work from home. I took advantage of it and I went to the gym early. I took a pre-workout. I don't know if I spoke about this before, but I purchased a pre-workout that had a good reputation on Amazon. Um, I forget which brand I have. I don't think it really matters. Just find one. Uh, whoever's interested, you find one uh, on your Amazon-like site or wherever you go with, with a good reputation reviews. And uh, honestly, uh, you take it 20 minutes before you go to the gym and it feels like somebody gave you four or five cups of coffee. You just have a ton of caffeine and it helps you get stronger. So today I, I went to the gym and I put in over an hour. And I felt great and I felt strong and it was a fantastic workout. And I was actually sweating it out, which was fantastic. And uh, came home, got my shower and I started my day off. And I feel... Like I'm super productive so far. Uh, so I think it, starting off, and I think we spoke about this before, where I was reading up on millionaires and billionaires, and they always start their day off with the gym. The gym kind of sets your tone for the day, gets you going, gets you active. You go to work, you're not cutting corners. Uh, and I agree, I, that's how I feel today, and I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic day. Uh, so I like this. So whenever I get the opportunity, I'll try to do it in the morning whenever I can. Um, so... I was thinking about a few things last night, this morning. Um, I was going over a lot of the comments. You know, I, I've, I've, I've talked about this before. Uh, I love I love that you guys leave comments. Uh, I see a lot of comments directed at me. I see people responding to each other. It just, it's, I'm so happy with the little community that we have. And uh, the majority of my videos, if I look real quick here, I'm getting 30, 40 views. And for 30 and 40 views, some of these videos have, you know, upwards of 10 comments. That's crazy. And everybody's fantastic with each other. And um, and I was thinking about the the title of my channel. Okay, so it's called Dare to Inspire. And I remember when I was when I came up with this uh, very basic title, I wasn't just thinking about myself. I was thinking, man, what if someday I could kind of grow this to something bigger? where we are all on a journey together. And I think since the beginning, that's what I've been saying. Whoever wants to follow me, come on, do it with me. We're all in this together as a team. And uh, and there's some inspirational comments that I've read. Uh, a lot of you have fantastic background stories that, are, that were not uh, easy. You went through some hard things. But one stood out that I got yesterday from Sarah. Sarah, 
and I want to talk about it. And I'm going to read it here. Uh, but basically, Sarah had net cancer. It's a tumor in her appendix, which was removed. And she also had a big part of her large bowel removed. If that wasn't enough, she has a flexible rod with screws in her spine due to major back issues. And so imagine what she's gone through. And some of you may have gone through things very similar or worse. Or, and she's still here. She's still trying. Life gives us a bunch of reasons, gave her probably a bunch of reasons to give up and just feel sad about herself and whatnot. But she's trying her hardest and she's trying to get better. So props to you, Sarah. And, um, and I, I, you know, we're all in this boat together. And at one point, at least I would assume most of us, if not all of us, have failed. We've all tried to lose weight. It didn't happen. Um, I know some people will see failure as the opposite of success. I don't. I think failure is part of the journey to success. And uh, a real-life experience with that is uh, that I do sell T-shirts on, uh, on online platforms. And uh, I remember when I started... I must have made a hundred t-shirts, different designs that I thought were funny, that I thought were clever, didn't sell a thing. And I remember being a little bit discouraged, but I kept pushing through till eventually I hit onto a t-shirt that, that just blew up and started selling, sold for thousands of dollars. And then I was able to add on to it, add on to it and keep trying different things. And had a ton of success where to the point where today it's mostly passive now. And, and it's fantastic. So don't give up. Um, again, failure is just, a, is just a step towards success. So just keep going. Um, one thing that I've learned along the way is, uh, that's helped me is to try to surround myself with positivity. Okay, so in the comments, as, as you know, I respond to all the comments because there is a ton of positivity. Uh, you all, in fact, are fantastic, but I also try to surround myself with positivity in my real life and try to avoid um, people that uh, are negative. Okay, so I've, it's not the first time I try to lose weight. It's the first time I do Sexenda and whatnot, but I've, you know, I've, I've given it a shot before and I've failed before. And some of the people, like work colleagues, have seen me go through it. And just, I was thinking of, there was one colleague that I spoke to last week about it. And he said, hi, well, it looks like you're losing weight. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm trying. Uh, I'm, doing so, I'm doing it differently. I said, I've tried before. I failed. Uh, I said, but I learned something along the way. And I'm going to try to apply it. I'm going to try to change my lifestyle so that whenever I finally hit a decent uh, goal, I can maintain it. And, uh, his suggest and his response was like, oh, here we go again. You know, but you know what? I didn't take it personally. I, I, I know it was, you know, he, the, the guy's a big downer, but I didn't let it affect me. Because the way I see it, if for someone to make you feel inferior, like the comment he said, you have to give him consent, right? If I don't give him consent, if I don't, uh, believe what he's saying or agree to it, just just forget him. So one of my colleagues that I will just not talk to him about it anymore. And I'll surround myself with the other colleagues that I have that are helping me and pushing me and are, are saying, way to go, Pat, come on. So, uh, so yeah, so I want to share that. Try to get more positive people in your life as much as you can. Um, and yeah, just keep pushing forward. And uh, hopefully someday when we're all going to be on our deathbeds, um, instead of having a lot of dreams in our, in our, in our head, we're going to have a lot of memories and we'll be able to think back of this, how hard this journey was and, and the results we got. And then maybe this can turn into something bigger later on, or maybe it's not even about the weight loss journey. Maybe there's other things in your life that you wish you would have done. Well, you know what? Maybe now's the time. Give it a shot. Um, so yeah, just keep the comments coming. Uh, if any of you are struggling out there, having issues, having commented or are commenting, feel free to tell us how things are going. Now, I've, I know I've lost 30 pounds in 40 days. Uh, don't expect to lose 40 pounds or 30 pounds in 40 days yourself. Uh, I'm a big guy, 360. It's a lot easier for me to lose a large amount of weight than somebody starting at, you know, say 250. It doesn't mean you, you can't hit it. Some people might. But uh, it is a big number. So, you know, go at your pace. But if you are struggling, if you've seen that, uh, 
if you haven't lost weight in two weeks or a month, let's talk about it. You know, let we're all let's all be a a, a team about this. Uh, let's all encourage each other like we've been doing, and I think we can all hit our goal together. So here, that's what I had for today. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.